Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Tomorrow. This week, I wanted to talk about an upcoming flight of Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket that is going to be very special to the company. There's also a good chance that they will intentionally destroy their reusable rocket in the name of science. This is your space pod for September 14th, 2016. So last week in an email update from Jeff Bezos, who is the founder and CEO of Amazon.com and the rocket company Blue Origin, announced the upcoming fifth and final flight of the new Shepard rocket. But don't worry, this won't be the last flight of the new Shepard rocket ever, just for this particular rocket that has already flown past the boundary of space and landed four times. By the way, if you would like email updates from Jeff Bezos about Blue Origin, I put a link in the description so that you can sign up yourself. So in this email update from last week, not only did he announce the flight, which hopefully should be happening in the first part of October, but he also confirmed that they will be doing another live webcast, so that we'll all be able to watch it while it's happening and be able to cheer along as well. But more importantly, he announced that they will be doing an in-flight abort, or rather an in-flight escape test of their new Shepard capsule from the rocket during the most difficult part of flight maximum dynamic pressure, or Max-Q, where the atmospheric pressures on the vehicle are at their strongest. So why are they doing this? Well, in the not-so-distant future, Blue Origin plans to fly people in their new Shepard capsule for suborbital space tourism, and they're already flying suborbital experiments on their capsule now. So the company needs to ensure the maximum amount of safety and survivability before people will be allowed to ride on it. Now the question comes, how are they going to be doing this? Instead of the more common launch abort tower like you have on the Mercury, Apollo, Soyuz, and Orion capsules that pull the capsule away from a malfunctioning rocket, Blue Origin has adopted a pusher escape system like SpaceX and Boeing. And the way that Blue Origin has adopted to push their capsule away in an emergency is with a solid rocket motor that's on the bottom of the capsule. Blue Origin has already tested their escape motor on the ground multiple times, and they even accomplished a pad abort test on October 19th of 2012, Five, although they didn't publish their video three, for it until April two, 23rd of 2013. Escape. Clearly, in the video, the motor is angled in such a way that the capsule would be pushed out of the way from an exploding rocket. And this test also helped to verify that their drogue and main parachutes would deploy successfully. During the upcoming test in October, when they ignite the solid rocket motor at max Q, Blue Origin suspects that the launch escape system is going to cause the new Shepard rocket to explode, or damage it in such a way that they will not be able to restart the engine on the new Shepard and land it safely, and also that all the remaining propellant on board would explode when the rocket hits the desert floor. If somehow the rocket does survive and is able to land safely, then Blue Origin plans to put it on display as a museum piece. So either way, this will be the last flight for this particular rocket until Blue Origin rolls out another one. Which, for all we know, they could already have built one and are testing it right now. So good luck to Blue Origin. I hope that this launch abort test in October is a success. I hope as an added bonus the rocket survives. And I also hope that Blue Origin begins flying space tourists in the near future. But wait, Space Mike, aren't you going to talk about the Jeff Bezos update this week where he announced that ginormous new Glenn rocket? Well, me and the other hosts of Tomorrow are planning on gushing in detail about that new Glenn rocket announcement on this week's live show, which will be this Saturday at 1800 Coordinated Universal Time. So please tune into that for our in-depth analysis of this announcement. Ah, oh, I'm really excited for it. I think I'm going to end this video here though, but I do want to know what you think about this upcoming test and whether or not you think it will be successful and whether or not you think that the rocket will survive or crash. Let me know in the comments section below and also connect with us on our social medias, our Twitter, our Facebook, our Reddit, our website, or all of them so that you can join in the conversation. 
This is, of course, a crowdfunded show through Patreon, and I would like to give a huge shout out to all of our patrons whose continued support allows us to keep making these videos. Every little bit helps to create content that you want to see, and I am very grateful for all of your contributions. If you would like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash spacepod for more info and to sign up at whatever level that you feel is appropriate. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Michael Clark. Keep moving onwards and upwards everybody and I will see you in the future.